Rahobat. My name is Atunhut Nasud Atunhutep Emre Atunre. I'm a student teacher, the master teacher. And um, this is the reading for today. It's called The Bloodlust in Religion. One, you are asked about religion. Two, this is what Pira um, Amunubi Ragata had to say. The Arabic use of the word deen does not mean religion, nor the use of the word mila, both found in the Quran of Islam for religion. Both come from Hebrew. And deen, mullah. And they chose from Chaldean, from Akkadian, from Babylonian, of Nimrod, son of Cush. The Hebrews, number 01777, deen or 01778 means to judge. Number 1780, judgment. And the exact same meaning is original Arabic, in original Arabic. Decisions, judgment, as they are used in, in the opening chapter, verse 4, in the Torah, just in chapter 6, verse 3, it is used as strive. In the book of Job, chapter 19, verse 29, it is used as judgment. And as for Mila, it is found many times in the Quran, and in one place, Quran, chapter 2, verse 130. It is used as religion of Ibrahim, Abraham. But in fact, it's really it's referring to the Hebrew for it, 4139, Mullah, which is circumcision. From 4135, Mu, the root word to cut short, Kotor, circumcise. Number three. So both words originate with Cush, son of Ham, or his Egyptian name, Cam, same as the Hebrews, 2536, Kahum, Cham, today is called Sudan, in Africa, and the Arabic is Ham, from the same Egyptian word, Cam, black, which became Kemet, Kemet, and chemis, Chemistry, or Black Magic. Four. So the fact is the word used in the Jewish Torah for Deen and Mullah in the Muslim Quran in Deen and Mila does not mean religion. Deen or Deen refer to judging and M what did I say M1 refers to a uh, me, me refers to circumcision. It is a fact that the man they both speak about as Abraham in or Ibrahim learned it while in Egypt. And he started it amongst the Hebrews who passed it on to the Jews, who passed it on to the original followers of Yeshua, later called Jesus, who followers, the Gnostics, passed it on to the Muslims. Five. Now they will say that religion is Judaism, named after one tribe, Judah. Not true. Or in the case of the Christians, they will say their religion is called Christianity, a name given to them while they were in a place called Antioch. Jesus never even heard that name. Not true, and the Muslims now call theirs Al Islam and claim it means total submission to the will of their law. While the word Al Islam is also from the Hebrew word for peace, Shalom, Shalom, also from Chaldean, um, 08000, be safe, peaceful, and the Arabic root is Salama, which is bliss, safe, peace, not submit, not religion. Six. You ask them, what is the name of their religion? They have none because it was all taken from Wunuwap, Wunuwapu. Seven, now as to Nuwapians or Nuwapians, whatever, your way of life is called Wunuwapu from Napa, Naba. Inform, predict, foretell. They also use it roots for profit. Eight, but you must know that behind every word is a tone, sound, a mood, a feeling, an effect. Nine, so it's with the word, my religion or religion, deen, when it is used, there is a force behind it that moves into action. Ten, if a person says, I'm a Jew, forces of what that tone wakes up, it starts to move forward in the mind of those who say it and those who hear it. Eleven, people inform your mind to your soul and reflect your, in your spirit or personality. Twelve. Your thinking starts of thoughts, meditation, memories, recollections. Bring things from your subconscious mind. 
13. You start having feelings, good, bad, happy, sad, safety, fear. 14. As in the word religion in any language, you recall what he teases. Heaven, hell, devil, angel, God, gods, suffering, judgment. These will all become a controlling force over you, over your thinking, what you will or will not do, what you say or will not say, eat, drink, and so on. So in fact, religion works on your inner and outer being in existence your whole life. 15. Now Africans, Nubians, Kushites, Nawapians, if you accept an alien belief system, a trust, and a faith, in an alien religion that is what it does to your genes, your being, your soul, your spirit, your mind and your body, that is all your own forces. The you that makes you who and what you are. It is Negro, Negro, Afro, African, both are places. Niger is in Africa and so is Egypt. There are blinding tones to affect your well-being. 16, and render you mentally dead if the name is given to you by another race, it is not yours and it won't fit you. 17. Others call us Africans, Egyptians, Ethiopians, Negroes, African Americans, Moors, Asiatics, Indians, West Indians, Caribbeans, Latino. Other names these in their own tongue or tones which has an effect on them. If we accept them on us as does the tone, Blackie, nigger, coon, boy, you people. Those are tones that have an effect on you if you are called to them by other than your own kind. 18. When you ask what language is the word or tone more, most don't even know. Some will yell out Arabic. It is not an Arabic word. When you hear the tone Arabic, you get a picture of a race of people, the whole word, word called Arab, then it is subdivided into subdivided up into smaller groups. 19. The word or tone more or more or mur is from the Latin, the tongue of the Romans, which became subtongues, such as Spanish or Spain, Portuguese, Mexican, Peruvian, and so many younger dialects of Latin. It is Morano and it means dark skin, blacky, dark brown. It is describing what a people look like, not who and what you are. And the word or tone Negro is from the Greek Niger, black skin, dark person. Also found in Latin as Negra, blacky, darky, a person from Africa, black man. You will find it used in the Greek Latin Bible, Acts 13, verse 1, number 35, 26, Niger, nigger, of Latin, black. So when you hear it used, it affects your very being, good or bad, your forces, your soul. Your mind gets to work. 20. Sound creates. Sound kill. Sound can kill. Sound is color. Vibration. Each sound, tone, resonate, echoing, resounding of its own, of itself. 21. And each thing has its own tone as each word or name. 22. As you can cause a thing or person to vibrate if you strike their tone. As I taught you, if your being vibrates on C major, and I strike a tuning fork of C major, you will start to vibrate with it. If I strike A or D, you will hear it, but you won't vibrate with them. 23. If a room full of people, and you call out the name of Amun, all of those with that name will look your way. Because once named it, it becomes your tone. Not your holy tone, your given tone. While your body had its own tone, as does this planet in each star. 24. That's the real reason many fear to call on the real name of the creator or creators, because it will activate its power for or against them. They call it fear of God when it's just fear of its force. 25. Some beings and things have more than one voice, tone, sound at once as the Tibetan study for many years to learn the tone OM, OM, OM. And they sit and chant it over and over. 26. You the Wapis have given 
have been given too many tones that don't vibrate on your that don't vibrate your inner power. Many have called you to, called it you tones or you join and accept the tones not related to your well-being. Forces that and can't help you at all. Twenty-seven. You don't really know what it means to accept an alien religion or a way of life. Twenty-eight. Now, if or when you accept or accept another religion or way of life, you must know that you have accepted that race or people as your creator, your God, as they see their God as one of their own by converting to their ways doesn't change your tone. You can never become equal to them or have power over them because you have, you have been accepted, converted. It is not yours and that race or people become your superiors. You are a slave, not only to their God, gods, but to their race as well. 29. You respect their image over your own. You can lie out loud to yourself, but not inside to your being in genes. You're not Greek. You're not Indian. You're not Roman. You're not Hindu. Indian again. You're not Arab. Look inside your genes and see who and what you are by nature. 30. You can learn martial arts, dress as an Asian, eat Asian food, listen to their music, but you are not Chinese, Japanese, Korean, or any of their many subgroups. 31. You can study El Islam, dress like those Arabs or other Muslims, eat what they eat, listen to their music or chanting of their holy book, the, the Quran. You can learn their prayers even in Arabic, go to Mecca, but none of that will make you an Arab. If you look at Africans who convert to Islam, some even... Some can even speak Arabic like Sudanese, Somalians, Moroccans, and others have created sub dialects like Hausa and Swahili. They are still not what the Prophet of Arabia, Mustafa Muhammad Alameen, was. He was an Arab. The Quran was, according to him, sent down in his own tongue. They can claim there is no racism in their way of life or religion, but why do you have to say that unless you are saying some other race will join on to their Arab religion, as did the Africans of Ethiopia, Balao. No matter what they remind you, he was not an Arab. You can say, but Islam comes to this world. But again, if Allah has not race, then why is, it, why is that said? So I say, no matter how long you study, practice, perform, dress like, eat like, speak like, generations or you can never be an Arabian and El Islam is an Arabian religion or way of life. You can change it, black it up, say the original Arabs are black, break away from your own black group or even convert your country to the Arabian religion, mix it with them, but yet and still you are what you, they, they, you are by nature and genetics, your genes. You're worshiping the Arab image and that translates into worshiping the Arab. And when you call on Allah in Arabic, call Allah Him. He is your soul, in your mind, in your very being. That tone, attributes, names, Allah, Muslim, Islam. Arabic create in your mind eyes the Arab. He is an Arab deity that is. You are not an Arab of any kind. 32. I will not repeat this over for those who have learned to hate self and kind. 33. If you accept another's religion or way of life, you are in fact accepting them as your God and your superior. They created the picture or mental images. 34. And make note, neither can they become equal to you or have your powers unless they accept the fact that we are their parents. First on earth, and have souls they need. We can share our nine ether, but the Indian eight ether, the Asian seven ether, and the Caucasian six ether cannot help us in any way, yet we as their God can help them. 35. Note, this is also is for the tones or name of their gods. You will never receive any help from angels, gods, gods, Lord, lords, Jehovah, Jah, Yahweh, Adonai, Hashem, El Shaddai, El Elyon, Rab, Allah, Dios, Christ, Jesus, Elohim, Deity. None of these tones will activate you. Who is yours? And others, they also try to use our tone. Amun to Amin to Amin. 
They take our sound, Ray, to raise. Atonement from a tune, amit, and so on and so far. 36. So if you accept their religion, tongue, or way of life, you are in fact accepting them, the Caucasian, as a superior power. And this is why they're trying to attain freedom is so hard. Each so-called black leader still keeps some of their alien religion with them. It's a cruel hoax played on your mind and soul. Look back over the many years at the children. You try to raise them in Islam, Hebrewism, Morrisism, Nation of Islamism, Sunnism, Christians. Look at what they turn out to be. Niggas of the worst kind, running away, having babies, drugs, music, naked, perms, you name it. Why? Because we, are, we were linked to other than self by nature. We were pretending to be Hebrews, Muslims, Israelites, Indians, Moorish, Christians of many or any kind. That's where we went wrong. We hit the wrong key notes, tones. 37. Never too late. If you are original people on this planet, accept your own spiritual science, way of life, religion, Wunawapu. You, have, you will have accepted yourself and kind as a supreme being, the superior race, I mean the superior power. Then our, invis uh, then our visible and in in invisible forces of night ether and power can easily work for us and with us for our own liberation and well-being. 38. All religion is alien by nature to us as gods except our own spiritual science, Nawapu. 39. Nawapu is an equalizer for our people anywhere and any time, anything at any time. 40. Our race of Nawapians were mixed it now, but as Caucasians say, if a Caucasian has a child with another race, that child was always of the other race, so many are of us now. 41. We must embrace our purpose of our own, not of others, not an Arab purpose, not as an Indian purpose, not an Asian purpose, to gain our own respect world over your own culture, your own God, or as God of your own race like they have, our own purpose and plan, and must develop the power to execute the purpose and the plan. Idleness and ignorance must, not, must play no part in our plan. We must stop the imitation, stop imitating others, and be ourselves. We must take the plan and purpose. The purpose must be mental and physical breakaway from adverse forces. Yes, you may say, I have some Indian in me, or I have some this or that in my blood, but who rules it, it now? Caucasians have taken over all the people on the planet and mixed it in their seed. Converted to others' religion, took over, took others over others' culture, and even replaced the true image of thief gods. He made black Jesus white. He made Muhammad white and Hindu gods and took over Native American tribes. Let him have it. We don't need it. We have Wunawapo. He can't take it unless you give it to him. 42. Our plan must be pursuit of our purpose by the facts, the image, pictures we see all over Africa today and yesterday of us. That will give us right reasoning. It tell us what we need to replace. It tell us what to do and when to do it, as well as where to do it. 43. We only get the power to execute the purpose and plan by rejecting the oppressor and those who follow him. And his rejecting the, re the uh, oppressor and those who follow him and his religion and evil, lustful ways of living. 44. His evil spirit forces of ghosts that haunt your very being with fear of death and dying in his hell. Taking control of our thinking and our children thinking, we gave our children to alien thinking before and not again. Nawapo let us control our minds and lead to control of our physical activities, including our sexual activities. If you have become a mental and physical slave to his evil ways, then it's only too late if you don't put it all away. Stop watching pornos. And that person who brings it to you will tell them flat, 
I'll stop bringing that to me. I don't wish to watch it anymore. No drugs, no drinks, none of the Caucasian evil tricks. Be born again in the WAPO. You must overcome all their ways and lifestyle. 47. All the Western world comes from the East, both good and bad, such as the killing and abuse of the Romans, the sexual preoccup um, preoccupation from the Saxons and the Anglos and their glutinous and drunkenness. 48. All these are the new names for the same people, Celtic, which, is, which are Germanic race of Caucasian, which include the Irish, the Welsh, Scottish, Polish, who became subdivided into other subgroups of Europe, who spread and mixed their seed with all others. 49. They will use re religious titles to confuse you if you don't study. To be called Jew does not mean a Jewish race of people. No, Jewish is a religious name for a Caucasian who, of all tribes, family, clan, who converted in Russia as Khazars to the religion of Judaism. So Jew can be any group of Caucasian who accepted, then changed the original teachings in tongues and translations. Commentaries of the books change the history and, of course, the image of the prophets and, of course, the old man, the father, or God. But Jews is not a race, just as Islam is not a race, nor is Christianity. 50. Now this original group of Caucasians, or the Celtics, is the root of their race who moved it and changed their names, set up lands so that the people would not recognize who and what they are. Their original religion was Druism, a form of witchcraft and also sorcery. And they slowly changed it into religion. You see the day as theology, and then Onan became one god. Theos. Monotheos. Monotheism. Today it's called Judaism, Christianity, and El Islam. And in many subsects, groups, clans, they all had their roots in Druidism. 51. Their Torah, Gospel, Quran. If you read what they are really are saying with an open mind, you will see that their original religion was based on orders or commands by some being they later gave names to. Elohim, Nephilim, Jebrim, Yahweh, Rab, Theos, or Theos, the Deo, Deity to Allah, God, Good, Lord, Gad, Baal, Adan, Anuna, Dengir, Umshum Gao and on and on. What they try to hide from you is the true nature of these Torah, Gospel, Quran, God or Gods, Lord or Lords. That is, that is they were cannibals and had human sacrifices, eating of humans and animal flesh. Look at when Yahweh and two other Adonia visit Abraham as two angels with the Lord. What did they eat? Genesis 18 verse 1 to 8 flesh and blood. So in fact, the God or Elohim ate humans as well as animal flesh and drank blood. Adam's name has its roots in blood or blood. The very name, same is of Arabic of Quran, blood. You can read over and over that these gods or God Elohim, Ali had or El, Allah, their Bible, Gospel, Quranic, creators was some kind of reptile which came to earth, eritu, erits, art, and ate humans. Once they mixed their seed with these cavemen, as older tablets confirm, such as the Epic of Gilgamesh and the Atrahasis epics and other records, now remember for Muslims who claim to follow the Quran, it's really the same God, prophets, tribe, the same people. Muhammad is related, he claimed, to Abraham by blood. Now that means all of this applies to them as well, and so does it to Christians. They really don't know what they call God Allah. Those that were not allowed to ever see them or him, or they will be killed. What do they God fear they will see? Why do I keep saying they? Because the angels always came with or for or from their God. And ate what he ate as the, you can see in Abraham's time. Genesis 18, 1 to 22, and Genesis 19, 1 to 2. The next point is, what were angels called in Hebrew? 
number 04397. Malak, Messenger, Dispatch, 04398. Chaden, Malak, Angel. It's the same in Arabic of the Quran, 2 verse 98. Malaika, same root word, MLK, in both. Why do I point this fact out? Because they try to trick you in Bible with the word mulak. Almost chapter 5 verse 26 in mulak. Leviticus 18 verse 21. You see they are the same exact root letters. M-L-K. Same root word. They will tell you this is an old Canaanite god or demon when they are in fact the Canaanites themselves. In mulak or malak. Is king ruler and angels who worked under and with their God or Lord God, Israelites, Hebrews, Moabites, Ammonites, all mixed it with and became Canaanites and all ate human flesh, drank blood, sacrificed their children, even ate their own children. In Judges 11, Jesus sacrificed his daughter in Mizpah, and in 1 Kings. Solomon built a grill to cook on or altar to Moloch on the mountain east of Jerusalem and in Hinnom, which was called Jehinnon, the name for hell in Hebrew and Arabic. So the root of their religion is based on offering humans to their God, God's lords, Lord God, be it in Hebrew, Greek, Roman, Arabic, what their holy book points out. They really worship beast creatures they never seen, but reward them for flesh and blood rituals. And this is still going on this day behind closed doors. But most don't know Negroes, Hebrew Israelites, Christians, or Muslims, or any of their subgroups have no real idea what they worship. Flesh eating creatures from other worlds and deep seas of earth. They start out in Genesis chapter 4, verse 2 to 8. Out of two offerings, which did they respect the, the one of Abel, that of first, firstling of his flock, flesh and blood? 53. Also Noah in chapter Genesis chapter 8, verse 20 to 21, they translated the word altar, 04196, but it's not religious. Not yet, not before Moses' time. The word there is muk'ad, which means fuel burning. From 04168, Mukwadi from 03344 Yakad Burn, Kindle, Hearth, Grill A place to cook food A barbecue grill, why? To create bud looking barbecue sauce So Genesis 8 chapter 8 verse 20 Noah put together a grill to cook on for Yahweh And he only took clean beasts And clean flour And offered that as birth offerings. He cooked it on the open grill. In verse 21 states that this Yahweh smelled a sweet savor. Noah cooked the flesh for Yahweh to eat. And this God Elohim or Yahweh, Lord Yahweh, even told them how to prepare this food. The book of Leviticus is a cookbook telling them to choose only clean animals. Then Exodus 29 offered two lambs. Remember, the Sumerian Anunnaki called their first creation Lulu, which means sheep. In Leviticus 6, they ask for salt, tell how to prepare each to remove entrails. And after the flood, humans followed these gods, also ate human flesh. 2 Kings chapter 6, verse 29, 28 to 29. In Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 53, 57. In Leviticus 26, verse 29. And it stopped it with Abraham in Genesis chapter 22. But Genesis 9 verse 2 to 7 and Genesis 1 verse 29 to 30 humans were told not to eat flesh and blood but did they listen to their flesh eating God or gods? No. Look at this Exodus 34 but look closely at verse 11 and 18 you will see eat flesh with bread. Now when you read verse 19 you will see the word matrix 07358 they try to trick you because under the Strong's number 07358, you'll see Rakhan, womb, vagina. The same is used in Arabic in the Quran 36. El Akham from womb. So Exodus 34, 
verse 19, 19 really says, every firstborn of the womb is mine. So why did translators try to trick you? They know that gods were cannibals, flesh eaters, and, are, and still are now. 54. That's also what Jesus is said to have claimed. Stop offering flesh and blood to El or God. Here, take my flesh, take my blood. When he returned from death, what did he want to eat? Mark 16, verse 14, flesh and blood. Luke 24, verse 41, and his followers. Acts 2, verse 46, and 15, verse 29. But they mistranslated, and they still have it in the open. You chastise it. Sacraments of the Lord's Supper. Behind scenes, there is flesh and blood of children being eaten by the secret order. Satanists and others... And where do you think all the missing children are that you hear of them going missing each day? Fool for their flesh-eating gods and it's covered up by new rituals in their temple. Most today who follow their books can't read the original language of them. They only get translation given to them by the children of the Celtics, now mixing seed who don't know the facts of their religion or its gods or gods. Flesh-eaters, killers who told the Israelites, the Hebrews, you can kill for us, you can steal for us, you can invade other land for us, take, kill, war, rape, all in the name of their God. If you really read their book, it says you must fear God, tremble before God, but you cannot see what they look like or you will be killed. Moses asked in the Torah, in the Quran, why not? How beastly did he look to scare one to death? Fifty-five, In Genesis chapter um, 3, verse 22, this God gets upset because Adam and Eve became as smart as them because he got caught lying to them about eating of the tree of life. They became their gods or lords equal, it says. Genesis chapter 3, verse 22. This God took favorites, one brother over the other. Abel over Cain. Genesis 4, verse 4. And let Cain kill Abel. Number 56. This is the truth of the God of Judaism, Christianity, and El Islam. But most don't really see these things. They were human flesh eaters. Psalms 106, verse 28 to 38. The Canaanite, 2 Kings 16. Ahaz cooked his son and others. Animals, flesh eaters, ordered killings of people for no reason. Killing of children, women, and men. Saying, kill them all. The way you know offerings were eaten is by Genesis 31, verse 54, where Jacob and his father-in-law, Laban, cooked it and ate their offering, also about Jacob and Esau. Genesis 25, verse 27 to 30, it was meat, Hebrews 16, verse 12. Number 57, a killer, a thief, a liar, and so many more evils. These are the evil gods and their forces whom you pray to. And by doing so, feed and empower their evil forces. Feed their so-called holy ghosts, their holy forces which haunts this planet and causes all kinds of evil and insanities, crazies, people killing, and even eating dead bodies. Who is doing this? Celtic six ether forces, ghosts, demons, ghouls, the forces behind their religions. Number 58, you must pass the compatibility test. The compatibility test determines whether the mind, soul, and body of you is capable of going back into Nadaru in this up-and-coming new cycle. You have passed the compatibility test when you were able to actually deny and reject the Caucasian religion and his subsects of Christianity and Islam ruled by his image, his spirit forces, in names of their spirit forces, dress codes, habits, lifestyle. You must give it all back to them to cut off their powers over you. They took over other religions we once belonged to and replaced God's image with their image. So when you say God, you think about old white old man. When you say Yahshua, Jesus, Isa, you say a young man. But he spent trillions of dollars placing this image in the world's mind to feed his evil spirit, who also feeds on souls and emotions, yours, because Caucasians don't have souls, only spirits, unholy ghosts. Unholy Spirit, 59. There can be no true transformation or soul growth in universal blood of our people for the minds of our people unless you are able to pass the test. Growth of the mind, soul, and body of our people is by accepting our way, Wunawapu, that is our power and growth. 
number 60. Mind power is the greatest power in the universe. And we Nawapians as a race are greatly in need of it in order to think and do for ourselves independent of other races who choose to follow the beast man and his evil lustful ways. Number 61. Only by acceptance of our own image as our gods or gods, our own, and by the practice of that, then universal forces can and will work for us and with us to achieve our goal. That is by controlling our various emotions and getting things accomplished through Wunawapu. Sound reasoning, sound action, instead of trying to escape from ourselves. As we are not imitations of others, their religion, dress, speech, look. We are Africans. Be proud of that. Be proud of that fact. Light-skinned or dark-skinned, you are a Negro, original seed of earth. And number 62. And you will never escape the fact or get away from your responsibility to your, our youth and how they feel about who and what they are. 63. You will not escape by using his gift of strong drinks, drugs, and sexual gratification. Music, dance, his form of beauty, self-rejection, self-hate. You are not and will never be accepted by your Americans. They can't accept you because by mixing their race will fade away. As they say, a mixed child is other than Caucasian, non-white as they claim. They see how you exceed at all things you do. He will never accept you. He can't. It means his end. So be who and what you are, an African in America, Caribbeans, Europe, South America, a Nawapian, Nawapian. 64. Making Negro babies is not the key. Making Nawapian baby is the key. 65. A person, male or female, who does not control their sexual self is ruled by lust of the Caucasian. You are a sex slave. 66. Sex is a heavy burden on our race, and the Caucasian is used against us by TV, cinema, movies, I mean music, clubs, dress. 67. This does not mean you should not have sex with your own consort, sex with those of your own kind. 68. But too much sex, too many children now, at this time, becomes a burden on our race. 69. When the sex of a people is out of control, they can be tricked into having any and all kinds of sex, which can lead to unnatural sex acts which is against nature. Number 70. And we as enslaved, oppressed, and captive people cannot afford any extra burden or bad habits or addictions. 71. Sex must be channeled in the best interest of our race. There is great power in oval and semen and should not be misused. The human beast knows the power of lust, sex, and pleasure. Feeling good. He has it in his religion. He promotes it all day to trick you into lustful acts. 72. Religion of your own is good as is prayer, as is pray to, and for your own good. But give him back all his religion. That's the end of the reading right there. Alright. Thank you for coming up for class. We have a uh, question and answer class tomorrow from 3 to 6. And what time is the Nawapi class? Huh? And also the Nawapi class from 2 to 3. What well, do?